Okay, just got through a snowstorm, having a lot of electrical problems with my plow connection, and I'll show you what's going on here. The plow controller was randomly, if you look here, the power, the power connection, which is the light, would just randomly go out as I was driving around. I couldn't really find a rhyme or reason. I pulled this off. If you look at the connector here, hopefully you can see it. There's like this little bit of corrosion around the pins. I don't know if you can really make that out there, but and then with I've run into this a couple times, but let's see if I get a good shot. There you go. See that little bit of a corrosion? It's not constant, but it's enough, and I think that's what's causing my problem. I've also got this side of the connector. This is a Fisher plow setup on a uh 2006 Duramax. So we're gonna try to clean these connectors. I got these these tool sets. I haven't actually used them yet, so we'll give them a shot. This is a a micro male pin cleaner from IPA. It's uh looks like a hat little half round files. I think this is 60. So, yeah, let me see. You got this can you, can you hold that? I'll get a better focus. A hard time focusing on this because it's so tiny. But it's basically got this half round moon shape to it. Anyway, let's just give it a shot on the pin and see if it works. There you go. Is it taking the corrosion off? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like. Just gotta work it. You gotta work it around. Hopefully we'll be able to get a before and after and see if we got a nice clean connection. A real hard time focusing. This is it's sixty thousandths is what these pins are. It's a, it's got like a diamond grit. It's a fine. Does it feel like it's biting in? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we should clean the, the yeah, female side there. And I think what that's... What about this too? Does this go around that? it? No, that's, um, I don't think so. I think that's like an extra file on the back side. Should find the sixty thousandths of the, the diamond <clears throat> mail pin in there. I'll pause the video to get that out. Okay, so this is the other kit I got. It's a heavy duty maintenance pin cleaning kit. Okay. If you're looking for a sixty, it should. Does this should show you up here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, some of them have laser etching on them. Some don't. So I think that it's probably the next size up. Tiny little. Well, right now, is right. that it? Right. All right, don't stretch the pin. Don't force no, no, it. It's, it's the other one. It's All right, it might be one of these guys here. Yeah, let me pause it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we've located the sixty thousands pin. Tiny, barely read the writing. Let's see if we get a good shot in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good fit. Yeah, don't do it too much. You don't want to take away the. And just try to kiss the corrosion. You don't want to pull out the cut into the copper or anything. Sounds like you're getting a good bite. Yeah, Alright, they got this little, uh, hang on a second. You got this little tube of. Uh, oh, yeah. You got a knife? I'm gonna open that up. Here. This is the uh, contact cleaner. They say that when you put it on there, it boils off the corrosion. Let's well, see what happens. Man, if this fixes it, it's gonna save me a hell of a lot of hassle in the future. That was a real pain in the ass. Alright, let's 
turn the key on and make sure we have a connection at least. Yeah. All right. Got power. Um, let's see what we got for... See if we can do the main pins in the front, man. Can you grab that kit? Let's see what we got in the front here. Like I said, this is a Fisher plow. I wasn't sure. I'm not 100% that the problem is coming from the under the dash. It just seemed like I could see corrosion on those pins, but I didn't actually look at these. Mm, oh, yeah, I, I did look at this one. I think this one is pretty good. That's fine. Yeah, you got a nice dielectric grease in there. How's that one look? Dirty, but it looks pretty good. You got a pin cleaner for that? Let's see this one? Is it this side? Let me get on your shoulder. It should just be like a tight, snug, maybe the black one. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the right one. Getting in there? Yeah, squeezing on nice and tight. Hey, hold your hand so I can see it. Maybe just bend it down or something. There you go. Hard time seeing on my phone screen. Yeah, it looks like you're getting a nice connection. Makes them brighter looking. Sorry. I got glare. I can't tell if I'm in focus. That looks pretty good. Alright, I think we get the gist though. Alright. These look fine. I wouldn't even bother with these big ones. Actually, you want to check and just make sure. Hey, I got the kit. Why not? Yeah, just make sure it's a good fit so I know I got it in the future if it works or not. If it works, I can. I'll keep it in my glove box. Let's see if this fit. Next size up. Oh, yeah. Good. Nice fit? Yeah, it's nice fit. Yeah, that other end should do the female side. Let me take a look. Nice. Check that out. I see a little They're corrosion. Pretty, little corrosion. Yeah. It's not good. This thing's not even that old. Actually, maybe the other one. Yeah, it should be the same one. It should be the corresponding side. Just. I don't know if it's too tight. It's too tight. But just see if it goes in. It might just. No. Nah. Oh, there yeah. you go. That's a good fit, that's all. Yeah, it looks like it springs. Oh, yeah, you can see that green shit on there. Okay, sweet. Now, these have a little split to them. We should just take the knife and separate them. You do that for me? Yeah, just want to make sure that we get a nice, nice hand, nice contact. Well, for those watching, anyone's interested, it also cleans the sander pins. I'm not going to get into it now because they've got a ton of salt on them. And I don't really want to. I'll wait until I power wash it off, but it gets all these connectors in the back. So they say everything else worked out fine. So I expect it's going to work. Anyway, hopefully that helps someone else out. <laughs>